So I'm going to take this with me, and anybody that wants to challenge me can challenge me. What is up, everybody? Good morning. I'm here with my buddy Hunter. We are at the Lucas Oil Stadium, about to do some onboarding. So short for not very fun conversations, just a long two hours of talking with you USA Swimming. Um, but it's gonna be great. We're just gonna get a bunch of info on national team stuff. And then we're gonna take a tour of the Lucas Oil Stadium and we're gonna see how they're going to set up for Olympic trials 2024. So it's gonna be crazy. I don't think I've ever been inside the Lucas Oil Stadium. So I'm excited to see what it's all about. And uh, more importantly, to see how they plan on setting up this pool so that we can swim fast 2024. Stay tuned. So we are done with all of our onboarding stuff. Really good chat. Um, one thing that's really cool is I've been on the national team for almost seven years now, but every year we, we get to see the growth. And one thing that UC Swimming is doing is a lot of massive shifts in the foundation, but what they're doing for the national team and getting to see the financial stuff and the money. So obviously none of that's filmed, all that's private. But what we're moving on to next is going to be pretty insane. So we are here at the Indianapolis Cult Stadium. And the reason being, Olympic trials is going to be here in two years for the 2024 games. So we're going to get a, I think the rest of the team's going to come out in a little bit and they're going to explain to us what we're doing. We're going to get a tour of the facility and just see how they're going to set it up. But what I'm told is from the, basically from the 40 meter line on the field or 40 yard line, whatever, the pool is going to be set up kind of horizontally like this way in the lineup. There's going to be a massive curtain. And then in the, behind that area is gonna be the warm up, warm down pool, staging area for the athletes. And we're gonna have all the stadiums set up for us. It's gonna be a pretty, pretty gnarly setup. Time for the tour to begin. Hey, what's up guys? Um, here in Indianapolis, it's a lot colder than Texas. Uh, I need a hoodie. <laughs> So visually what you're going to see is a massive black curtain over here. This is going to be a gorgeous, obviously elevated, so you have to walk up the stairs because the pool is going to be about two meters deep. You've got a warm down pool in the shape of an L. So you've got probably long course and then a bit of a short course 25 meter pool all set up here. And on the other side of the curtain is going to be the competition pool. Hey guys, so we're here with Drew and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he's doing and his role in helping us as athletes communicate our point and get some questions across as we get ready for 2024. Yeah, so I'm on the Athlete Experience Committee uh, along with Lily King and Jojo Ramey. So we're kind of like the local people here. And so what we're doing is we're serving as like the primary point of contact for athletes to tell us who we will then convey those uh, points to the higher ups to kind of make this experience the best thing possible for uh, everybody here at the Olympic Trials. And so it's gonna be important. We want this to be the best experience possible for athletes. And so we're really pushing for that and kind of starting a conversation to make sure everybody's needs get heard basically. So that's what it is. Perfect. Yep. So where I'm standing right now, this is the 40 yard line. This is pretty much where the curtain is gonna go straight up. So the curtain will stop here. The bleachers will be on like a raised elevator. This, apparently it's gonna be up about 10 levels. So 10 seats up. Those temporary bleachers are gonna be pulled over here, placed yonder. And then the pool is gonna run from this end is gonna be our start end of the, like start the 50 end. And then our turn end will be on the opposite side. That's the tour, we're all done. We're gonna head back, go to the hotel, grab our swim stuff. Olympic Trials 2024 is going to be insane. Cheers. Today, I am going to be taking you along with me as I pack for Short Course World Championships in Melbourne, Australia. And because my sponsor tier is also the provider for the team, I get to show you all the gear and be extremely proud of it. So, we're gonna fire it up. I'm just gonna give you a quick show of what we're gonna be putting into the suitcase. And then I'm gonna go from category to category, basically showing you like every aspect of what I pack and why I pack it. So we're gonna start off with the suitcases. We're gonna then go into our team gear, everything that's provided for us by Team USA. 
I'm gonna go into some of the fits and the style I'm gonna take with me because I actually fly to Greece on Monday. I'm gonna race in Athens for a week and then I'll fly from Athens to Melbourne. So I'm gonna have some time to like go out and enjoy the area. So I wanna look cool. I don't wanna be wearing team gear. Then I'll show you some of the supplements that I use and I'm gonna be taking with me as well as all of the electronics and then the recovery tools. And these are my essentials. These are the things that go with me all the time, allowing for me to stay recovered and prepped so that when I race, I can race fast. So we're gonna just jump straight into it. It's gonna be a good time. Okay, so up first we've got our two backpacks. So I'm gonna bring two backpacks. One of them is going to be for my travel, which is this. So this is a backpack that my mom got me while she was in South Africa. Um, so it's all like leather made, but I basically just put my laptop and then like my camera, things that I want with me on the trip. Um, and what's super nice is it's got this little pouch thing that slides and can fit onto the back of my other carry-on, which is a rollerboard, which we'll get into soon. And then the other backpack is our team issued bag. So this is a tier tactical bag which is basically just a backpack that I can fit all of my race gear on stuff like that. But what's nice is it's pretty small. Like it's not massive. Like a lot of the team bags we usually get, like we have these giant clunky bags and I don't take tools and a bunch of stuff with me to the pool. So all I really need is room for my towel, water bottle, race suits, training suits, cap goggles, and then anything additional like a foam roller, I just carry with me on my arm and it's perfect. So team bag and then the most important is our two suitcases so one's gonna be a carry-on for me and the other is my actual suitcase um, and so I've always been a big fan of away I'm no I'm not a partner of away I've never worked with them I would love to away if you're watching um, but these are the suitcases I will use probably for the rest of my life because they're incredible and I'll show you why so this is my away suitcase it's literally just perfectly square, it's incredibly light, and then inside here you've got a zip pouch and you've got a thing that kind of flaps over it for your clothes so you can tighten it down, and it just looks really clean. Also, as much as they are stupid expensive, um, I'm pretty sure there's a lifetime warranty, so if anything happens, they replace it. And that goes the same with my carry-on, is the carry-on is in the way suitcase, and it matches. So. Because they roll super nicely, like I'm constantly walking through airports, walking around the city, moving around with my bags. It's so nice to have suitcases that roll perfectly, easily, and I can just walk them together. They stay nice and clean. It's a life changer for the amount of time that I travel. So up next is our team gear. So this is everything that's gonna be used for world champs. So basically once we get to Melbourne, once we get to Australia, everything is team gear each day. So we have shirts and shorts and stuff that are assigned to us daily, and we all have to wear it so that we match as a team, which I think is awesome. Um, and then we also have compression gear. This was stuff that was issued to us in like the previous World Champ, so you don't get new compression gear every trip. Um, outside of that, I'm bringing my tier sunnies. So I'm gonna go gold wraparounds just so that, you know, while we're on deck, we look pretty dope as well. After that, I've got a bunch of shorts. So these are Tears new six inch inseam shorts. Now I do not wear shorts that are any longer than six inches. I'm a big fan of five inch inseam shorts. Got a black pair, got a green pair. We got like a maroon red pair. And then we go on to like our podium sweats. So this is what we have to wear Every time we go up to do the podium, it's basically Tears premium hoodie. And then we've got a pair of matching sweats that goes with it for any sort of like media, podium, interview, stuff like that. That's the gear that we always have to wear when we're doing something special. Then we get on to what is kind of the most important part of our team gear, um, everything else outside of like the race suits and what we need to do for in the water stuff is our team t-shirts. So we get 10, I think we've got 10 t-shirts, all with basically just random logos that says 2022 Short Course World Championship team. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of them for you, but what I will do is have a 
couple of these left over for Afterworlds and we'll do a little giveaway um, just for you guys. So what I'll do is I'll give away a couple of those. We'll sign them and send it over. And then tier obviously with more. We got some windbreaker self-defense stuff. Sun defense, <laughs> not self-defense. We don't need any of that. Hoodies for on deck. And then my personal favorite, just because it says USA, anything that you get on a team trip, I think the coolest thing is if it says USA. Now, while we're in Australia, we're not gonna have a crazy amount of time, um, a lot of free time. On the last night, we might get to go to dinner or go out with some friends, um, but we'll maybe have one or two days to explore Melbourne before World Champ starts. And so that's when Team USA basically gives us free reign to wear whatever we want. So I'm just bringing a couple plain tees. And you guys know I'm a big fan of hats. So these are my new, this is a Seeger Corduroy, Mad Happy. And then I actually got this from PacSun. This is a pretty dope USA Olympic team Corduroy that I love wearing um, and probably will travel in. Socks, plenty of socks. These are all tiers. So it's my favorite crew neck. So it's a crew neck from my buddy Cody Simpson, King Neptune. Um, and so I figured what better place to rock it than in Australia. So maybe we'll get to see him and have him in the vlog. You guys can let me know what you want me to ask him. And then um, outside of that, we got a little hoodie over here. Most important, toiletries. Toiletries is pretty simple. The biggest thing for me is just making sure that I've got razors. I've got my trimmer and toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, obviously when it comes time to race, this will all be going. I will be shaving all of it. I'll be shaving my underarms and sadly, my beard and mustache will be shaved off. Okay, so moving on to our recovery items. This is incredibly important as well. So I've got two separate Katsu devices. So. If any of you have been following me long enough, and I'll go over this more maybe while we're in Australia, but Katsu is blood flow restriction. So essentially, I take these bands, I put them on my arm, and then <coughs> one of these two devices, one's different, so one attaches via Velcro, one's a tube. I just kind of have preference. I prefer doing my arms with the traditional model, and then I do my legs with the newer updated version. But the idea is this occlusion. So the blood flow is restricted, forces your body into thinking there's a stress response, and then your body then sends all these new white blood cells and growth hormone to repair the damaged area quicker. Pretty simple, super handy. This thing goes with me everywhere when I travel, um, mostly just to like work out my legs and lats. So when I'm pretty sore during a meet, like I'll just sit here during the whole meet, kind of running through my legs, especially because I'm gonna be swimming so many events. I love having this with me just to stay nice and loose during the meet. Lacrosse ball, this is for pre-race stuff, so it's nice and firm. I like to roll out my glutes and my psoas, and then any sort of knots that I get in my shoulders and my triceps. Um, and then the other trusty, handy dandy foam roller, just super helpful. Okay, so first up, this is something, it's a travel pack that USA Swimming gives us for every trip. And then typically they'll give us one item each to bring. So they gave me powdered Gatorade. Usually they'll give you like cliff bars or things like that. Um, and I think it's smart. I think it just gives a little bit of ownership to the athletes. And we basically have to bring this to, US, to Australia. Up next is the games. And yes, I'm leaning on my ice bath, but we'll show you that later. Deck of cards, I always take a deck of cards with me. Um, the amount of times I've sat in a room with my teammates and thought, hmm, we should play a game, and then all of them are like, well, does anyone have cards? And none of us have cards. I've just always brought a pair of cards with me, or a deck of cards, whether we play or not. And in here is my favorite game, Monopoly Deal. So, fun little story. The first time I ever played Monopoly Deal, was with a group of Australians. And so ever since then, I've traveled everywhere with this. And I just put it in a little sunglass pouch and, um, and we play it. The reason I love playing it is because it's like regular Monopoly, but it's a much quicker game, not as boring. And man, you can make some enemies fast. 
but it's a good time. <laughs> and then our final and one of my super, like, this is awesome. Um, a good friend of mine runs and owns Poison Pawn. So Poison Pawn and Seth Mikowski. Seth is a guy that I used to work with um, kind of as a life coach. And what he did is he took the game of chess and he would work on the strengths and how do we operate in our fight or flight, how do we make decisions under pressure type of thing. But he's come out with basically a chess board for travelers. And so this is a magnetic chess board, pretty sick. But what's even cooler is you've got these pieces. You can play on the flight anywhere you go. So I'm gonna take this with me and anybody that wants to challenge me can challenge me. So we're almost there, we're almost done. Um, most important for me is protein. I just use clean. Um, I don't work with clean at all. I'm kind of in the process of speaking with and experimenting and trying a bunch of different protein companies, but clean's always great. I just, what I like about them is it's clean, literally, um, outside of the name, but that means that they're just NSF batch tested, certified, so that's important for me to race. Creatine from Thorn. We've got beta alanine, which is what I take before I go race to get some beta itches. It's good for the blood flow. Vitamin D. This is a probiotic that is actually created with my own gut biome to this guy and it's been really cool working with him. Um, so I love that it's the, the gold medalist blend. I don't know if you see that, but this is basically custom made for me. And then quercetin, good for the body. Magnesium, good for cramps and just like overall health. Um, zinc and then Tums just in case I eat something funny. Last piece of basically clothing items and things that I'm going to take with me before we get to the race gear and training gear is just a few rings, my watch, some chains. You see, I like some chains. These are all from Clocks and Color, um, just a super cool company. So I'm a big fan of Peter McKinnon and he's actually designed a few pieces with them. So we are on to our last few items. Now I'm going to be taking two different types of race suits with me. So the shockwave just came out a couple weeks ago and I'm going to be one, not testing it out because I've been testing it out in training. Love it. Really favorite new suit. Um, pretty sick, but I'm also going to take my original favorites. Um, the phantoms just because you know, it, it takes time to get used to a new suit. And so if I'm over there and I have like a sudden change of mind or something and I decide I want to race in my original favorite, which is where I'm already comfortable, you know, world champs isn't typically the place that you try something new. The other thing, so what's also most important is now having goggles. So I always take variations of goggles because I don't know if the facility is going to be really clear or if it's going to be dark inside. So I have these, these are my blue goggles. What I love about them is even in a dark venue, it makes things seem brighter. And then these are a little darker, but they're still clear. And so you'll be able to see my eyes through it. And in here we've got our race caps. So for Greece, I get to wear my MA Swim Academy team cap, which is awesome. Then once we head to Australia, I have to wear and get to wear the US flag. Another thing, the reason we have a black and a white dome cap, which is pretty cool actually, is because when you're on Team USA, you're only allowed to wear the white cap in prelims and you get to wear the black cap. You basically earn the right to wear the black cap in semifinals or finals. So that's a little Team USA tradition that's always lived on. And then I will take with me some paddles for training. Paddles is just for getting long, feeling the stroke, warming down. We've got a kickboard. This is the kickboard that was given to me at the Olympic trials in 2016. In here are waterproof headphones. So these things are called shocks. Um, they're pretty sick. I'd love to work with these guys, but I basically put them around your ear and they're, um, they're bone conduction. And so when I swim, it plays music so clearly through the water that I just, I enjoy training and warming up and doing things with these because it makes it a little less boring. 
Last big heavy item. I actually hate traveling with fins because they're so heavy. Um, they tend to be the one thing that puts me overweight, but I'm gonna be gone for so long, I need to take my fins. And then the last couple things, briefs. I've taken a variety of briefs. I love the ones that have USA on it, USA. For the very last item, warm up, training, whatever it is, my jump rope. I love this jump rope. One, I love the color, I think it's sick. RX Smart Gear. Um, we've been working with them and I think there's something about this jump rope that's so nice. Like watch this. It just, it spins so well on this swivel and it just keeps going. A really good speed rope, good warm up, um, and it just increases athleticism and gets you going so that you're ready to swim fast when you need to. Well, it is time for me to take a nap and then once I'm up from this nap, I'm going to take an ice bath and I'm gonna go spend some time with my family because I fly to Greece on Monday. It's gonna be crazy. And I'm there for about a week or so racing and I go from Greece to Melbourne. Melbourne for World Championships, back home just before Christmas. It's gonna be a gnarly time. So you guys know I love traveling. I'm gonna bring you along with me. We're gonna make some videos. We're gonna have a good time. Also, check out the float. Um, a float, somebody I've been working with for sleep. It sucks that I'm gonna be away for a month and a half because I don't get to sleep on my bed. That's one thing I love about coming home. Uh, it's waterbed reimagined. You don't know it's a waterbed until you get on it. And it's been really amazing how it's kind of supported my body in all my sleep. Life is good. I'm excited to be traveling. Always excited to be packing again. And I'm stoked that I got to show you guys everything I take with me. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for tuning in.